Danny, it's 10 points out of 12. How positive are you going into tomorrow? I think we're, we're really positive. We've been pleased with our performances. You know, I go back as far as the, the Oxford game. I thought when we played them at, at the Kassam Stadium, obviously went down to 10 men so early, but the, the, the togetherness and the spirit and, uh, and the resilience that we showed on that day, we were really unlucky to, to, to lose right at the death. Um, and then the response off of the back of that to, to win three games on the trot was, 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 was fantastic. We would have obviously liked to have won on Saturday, but to come back from from three 0 down, um, I thought the players again showed showed a lot of character, and you know we're like you said ten in twelve and seven seven goals in our last two home games, and we now have another game against Oxford at home on Tuesday, and and, and then Accrington on Saturday. You mentioned the Oxford away game. Do you think there's going to be much difference to that tomorrow? Well, we hope so. We'd like to have eleven players, um, it certainly make things a lot easier. I think this we have a lot of respect for Oxford. I think they're one of the best teams in this division. Um, a group that have been together for a long time. Um, that they've recruited very well and keep adding to the quality of their squad. I mean, they've got such a, an array of midfield players and attacking players to, to select from. So there's a lot to like uh, about Oxford. For us, um, we're, we're really looking forward to the game. You know, we want to try to pick up from where we left off on, on Saturday. I thought our second half performance, there, there was a lot to like. And, you know, we said this morning, you know, we have to take responsibility, collective responsibility for the three goals that we conceded. Um, but I think we should also take inspiration and pride from the way that we come back um, and, and the fortitude that we showed under the most intense pressure. And, you know, also credit to the supporters because I thought they were fantastic on, on Saturday. They're probably their best performance of the season in my eyes, um, the way they stuck with us, particularly when we were up against it. Um, and and yeah, the way that they drove us on in that second half, it was a, it was a real collective effort. With it being such a quick turnaround, can we expect many changes tomorrow? Well, I think we're we're a small squad, so we have to keep trying to utilise the squad. Um, we've 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 trained today. Um, we put a lot of energy into into Saturday. We're in a in a run of games which are coming thick and fast, and it's it's our job to try to make the intelligent decisions. Um, sometimes, you know, not everybody knows the ins and outs around team selection. Um, we can only tell them so much. But what we have to do is watch the players, look at the players, see how they um, recover from games, see how they train and try to pick the best team that we think um, can, can win that game against the opponent. And as we know, every opponent brings different different challenges, whether that be in terms of their style of play, in terms of their systems or in in terms of certain individuals and we have to try to, to select the right team on, the, on on any given day. How important is it to carry the momentum built in that second half on Saturday into tomorrow? Yeah, very important. You know, yes, you know, Saturday, I think our expected goals was 4.66. I don't think, I think Fleetwood was below one. Statistically, it's a game that you win 99 times out of 100. Um, we didn't do well enough in the first 15 minutes in the de defensive aspects of the game with the 1v1 duels uh, first balls second balls the physical aspects of the game and that's definitely something that we need to, to improve on I think it's something that we did significantly better as the game went on we then got a good foothold back in the game at 2-0 down um, had an awful lot of possession and territory and then you can see the third on a, on a counter attack um, and it becomes very very tough a mountain to climb and you know, I was I was really proud of the players, the, the way they stuck together, the fight that they showed, um, the quality of our play. You know, I thought second half it felt like we were playing against ten men almost was the, was the dominance. I think from forty minutes onwards they only had they only had one entry into our box and, and no touches in our penalty area. Um, so yeah, there was there was a lot to like. I think we created a lot of chances. I think we probably should have taken more 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 than the three goals that we got. Um, but these are all add-ons for us as a group.